<laughs> well, on that note, hey everybody, it's Color Forty. Welcome back to another episode of Spy Fox and Dry Cereal. So last time we had some intense go fish matches, and we finally won back Captain Drydock's lucky charm. So let's give it back to him. So, Captain Drydock, I just had an interesting little game of go fish with that Mr. Big Pig at the cantina. And you'll never guess what happened. He cheated and ended up winning your lucky charm. No, actually, he lost and I won this. <laughs> My lucky charm, you found it, yes. Do you know what this means? I can go out on the sea again. The curse is lifted, thank you. Thank you. Charmed, I'm sure. Listen, matey, if you ever need to use the SS Winter Prize, just let me know. I'll take you anywhere you need to go. All right. I love that scene uh, when you finally get his lucky charm back. So, so triumphant. Captain, have you ever seen a mermaid? No, but I've always wondered how a mer was made. It must be an interesting process. Well, that's kind of weird. Can't resist the call of the sea, can ya? Even when it calls, collect. Let me grab my map, and you can show me where you'd like to go. So we need to go where we saw the white water, which I believe was here. Hmm, this looks interesting. I can't remember if it's there or 25. Okay, here we go. I'll just keep the map here in case we need it later. Interesting. Yep. A pool of white water. I've never seen white water like this before. Wait a minute, it's milk. Dairy milk. And none too fresh, I might add. Oh my. Hmm, it sounds just like a seashell out here. Yeah, so if you go to the exact corner that was written down on the SS Deadweight, you will arrive at this pool of white water. We're gonna need to dive down. I need to find the source of this milk, but I can't just jump in the water with my tux on. It's strictly dry clean only. Aw, oh, darn it. So what we need to do is pull out the frog suit. Now I'm a lean, green swimming machine. And down we go! Ah, uh, yes, the underwater splendor of the Mediterranean. Aha! That pipe must be where all the milk is coming from. What a terrible waste! I have to put a stop to this. Oh, catfish. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's easily my new favorite part of Spy Fox. And he's just silent, okay. Wouldn't you know it? Two Nog Dogs on mean looking robotic fish. So yeah, these guards are going to be a problem. We can't really swim past them. So we have got to do something a little bit clever here. First we grab this hook. I guess worms have a bit of frogophobia. Oh well, a fishing line like this could come in handy. So what we need to do is put it on each of these dogs' vehicles as soon as they turn around. So wait, and now. Here goes. It's the dreaded Rear Admiral, also known as Spy Maneuver Number 41. Oh. Oh. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> that fisherman will have quite a fish story to tell. <laughs> you know it. And apparently the fisherman caught the guy and then swam up with him. Okay. Now same thing on this side. <laughs> this time mirrored. Yes, these worms are definitely frogophobic. Well, I mean, frogs eat worms, so that makes sense. 
I hate to be the bearer of an underwater wedgie, but I've run out of options. Excuse me. Whoa! God! <laughs> it's the same dog, apparently, just in a different boat. I learned that one at spy camp. Ah, those were the days. You betcha. There's gotta be some cool stuff to click on. I wonder if this pool of milk attracts catfish. Oh my gosh, I didn't... Ah, uh, that's why the catfish appeared. <sighs> oh my gosh. I wonder what time it is. A clock is the one thing Professor Quack forgot to include in my spy watch. I never realized that, but that's true. Oh my gosh, and his wrist is now green because of the frog suit. That's an amazing touch. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. Have you found William the Kid's secret fortress yet? Not yet. Have you been able to find any more clues on the Spy Core computer? Not yet. Let's keep snooping around. I'm sure we'll find something. Mobile Command Center. All right. <laughs> There's that big tooth guy again. Uh-oh. This steel door looks pretty thick, and I already used my laser toothbrush. I'll have to find another way in. Huh. Well, there's this down on the ground. Old airplane fuses. I'd hate to refuse a find like this. Wow. <laughs> Box of fuses. All right. So now what we need to do, you'll see this. There's a it missile there. It appears to be an old crashed jet. I hope it wasn't the airline food. Wow. I just realized the same fish are flying by on each, uh, each screen. I wish we could go in the ship. But yeah. The seat's missing. Maybe the pilot used it as a flotation device. Well, if he was a smart pilot, he would. Hey, is that like a faint of piano keys? That looks pretty cool. But yeah, so there's this. This looks like the missile fire button. Now I can do some damage to that door. Something seems broken, though. So if we hit this button... Here's the jet's fuse panel, and there are some missing pieces. Yeah, so this is one of the more complicated puzzles in Spy Fox. What we need to do is use these fuses. These spare fuses must fit into the panel, but where? So now we need to do this interesting little puzzle where we fill in the missing fuses. All right, so this one needs two red on the top, two black on the left. This fuse just wants to fit in. Bam. All right, this one's got three red over on this side. Nope. Nope. Is that the one? That's the one. Okay, two red on the bottom. Oh, could this be it? Nope, that's not the right one. Huh, what else it has two red on oh this one perhaps? No. Ooh, that's a clever one. Let's see two black on the right. Is that the one? Yep, everything lines up. And now we need one with a ton of red on this side. That's gonna be that one. And you'll know it's working when this this light starts flashing. This will teach him for not leaving a key under the welcome mat. This is also another one of the coolest parts. I guess that guided missile was misguided. Of course, I planned that. I love a dramatic pause before blowing up giant steel doors leading to secret fortresses. So now we go in here.
I think I've discovered the entrance to William the Kid's secret fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hello, monkey. What's up? Spy Fox, if I've told you once, I've told you a million times. It's Monkey Penny. Sorry. What do you want? I'm busy saving the world right now. Our informant, Mata Harry, has some important information for you. Where can I find Mata Harry? I'm not sure. All she said is that she's underwater and you'll treasure her disguise. Okay. I'll check it out. Spy Fox out. Alright, so this door is actually locked and we can't unlock it until we meet with Mata Harry, so... She said we'll treasure her disguise, so she's in here. The boat will sink at midnight. It looks like it already sunk to me. That's not the correct code phrase. I know, but it's the truth. <laughs> Agent Fox, it's good to be working with you again. Mata Harry, what a fortunate surprise. What invaluable information nugget do you have for me? I intercepted this nectar of the goats thing, but I don't know what it is. It looks like it fits into some larger component. Can you use it? Are you kidding? I'll treasure this. Well, I gotta go. Go fishing, Agent Fox. Thanks for always sticking your neck out for me, Mata. You're a gem. <sighs> so many bad puns all at once. The counter, the bad pun counter is gonna skyrocket. But yeah, we get this large, er, uh, small little mechanical device, and we can fit it onto the door, and that'll help us get inside. And I've got to give credit to William the Kid. This is a pretty awesome secret fortress. Hey, Jetpack Mouse. Welcome to William the Kid's secret volcano fortress. Please insert the electronic code box and answer today's passcode phrase. Hmm, the spy wanted to counter the remark with intelligence? That is not a valid response. Have a nice day. Answering that code phrase looks like it might end up being punishing. Oh my gosh. It looks like the electronic code box plugs into the panel of this voice-activated security system. Welcome to William the Kid's secret volcano fortress. So now we need to input the month, the day, and the day. And you can't just use the actual month, date, and day. You actually have to find them in the game. So there are multiple places where this uh, these are located. I can go check them out right now. In this business, if you're not a really good sailor, then... I wonder what he was going to say. get back to the island of Asadafu. Good idea. I'm almost out of sea rations. Alrighty then. We're on our way. Thanks for letting me leave my frog suit on your boat, Captain Drydock. Are you kidding me? I've always wanted to be a frog. But yeah. So if you want to know the actual day of the week... It's in the cantina, Friday, because it's the Friday special. And that'll change for each play playthrough. And then the day and the uh, month are in there. So November 18th, and it was a Friday, apparently. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but... Uh, I did not want to go there. This looks like an ideal place to explore. Alrighty then. Let's dive! Cam Dreddock must be a man. That fox is weird. He's got a huge frog suit. Alright. Welcome to William the Kid's secret volcano fortress. So it's November 18th, and that was a Friday. The code writer could never get with the program. This is correct. <laughs> you may now enter the fortress at will. Have an even better day. Thank you. What a polite voice box. <laughs> oh, that was a good pun. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just <laughs> got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. 
Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox out. All right, so we finally arrived in Kid's secret fortress. So now we've just got to infiltrate it. So let's just walk in. How dare he? That thing is not only giving me the eye, it gave me the boot. I'd better look for a uniform. That's right. Thank goodness Spybox could see everything we saw. And there are bats living in here. Come on, dude, that's not cool. <laughs> Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. So first off, if we open this door... It's a secret passageway. You'll never guess where this takes us. So we're... What a clever secret entrance. William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. So if we have open this door... I'd better leave this door unlocked, in case I need to get back in here later. Bam! Back in the island square. So that's a nice little shortcut for you. Anyways, now what we need to do is find a uniform. So we need to check these lockers. There we go. A yellow jumpsuit. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. No one would recognize me in one of these. Tis true. Even though you're very, uh... <laughs> you stand out, Spy Fox. Where's my homework? It's in your locker, dude. Also, remember this pattern of letters. So we've got right, right, left, down, up. This Nectar of the Goat's jumpsuit might be just the thing I need to get the jump on William the Kid. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And now that we're wearing the Nectar of the Goat's outfit, we can go up through here. Uh-oh, someone's coming. i better hide. Look who it is. So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Russian Blue, take this key wallet and put it back where it belongs. It contains the disarm key. The only thing that can stop my milky weapon of destruction. Right away, your Imperial Goatney. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. I need to get my hands on that key he mentioned. Well, this has just got interesting. And we're going to get that key in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you then. Have a great day and God bless.